What's the goddamn deal? Welcome back to Recognize Real. This is episode 550, halfway mark. We almost at 100, baby. For all of y'all, wait, hold on. That deserves something. That deserves a little something, something. Hold on, hold on. Which one is it? Hold up, hold up. I realized I haven't been using my soundboard a while lately. Episode 50. Man, I, like I said, I want to thank everybody who's helped me with this journey, including those who um, including those who uh, God damn it. One sec. I was gaming before I started recording. Including those who came on, those who helped behind the scenes, uh, whether it was with equipment or editing. Uh, this journey's been fun, man. I've learned that I have a knack for editing videos. Um, audio, eh, I'm okay at editing audio. But it's been a lot of fun doing this, man. Like I said, I was in a bad place when I started, and, and now I feel like a lot better. I feel like uh, I got what I needed out of it. Not saying I'm going to stop doing it, but uh, it's sense of purpose that I feel like I needed in my life. Needed something to do, something to put out every week has been fun, and then that led to me streaming video games, and it's really helped my creative side, so... Episode 50. That's the wrong. I forgot I switched it over. <laughs> Episode 50. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That, oh, that first thing you heard was a uh, soundbite for this week's trivia. Um, before I get into the trivia. Mama. My grandma's calling me. Before I get into the trivia, I'm gonna call her back. Um, speaking of grandmothers, happy Mother's Day, y'all! Uh, this is the Monday after Mother's Day. Uh, I called everyone that I know. I think if I didn't call you, hey, happy motherfuckers mother, happy motherfucking Mother's Day to the old mothers, to the new mothers. We wouldn't be here without you, literally. So, appreciate and love the fuck out of y'all. For real. Shout out to the mothers. So, that's all I have to say. No rant today. Hold up. Um, I'm really just, I'm, I'm ready for this uh, trivia. So, um, oh, hold on. Before the trivia, I want to say, I saw Guardians of the Galaxy... That movie was so fire. It's probably one of the best Marvel movies to come out in a long time. For real. Um, probably since that last Spider-Man. Since, uh, <sighs> since No Way Home or Far From... Yeah, No Way Home. It was so good. I laughed. I cried. I laughed again. It was a great ending to a trilogy. And... It's said that Star-Lord will return, so we'll probably see some more of him. But um, other than that, I think they're they're done. You know, there might be some cameos here and there, but as far as Guardians of the Galaxy, it's over. End of an era. Great soundtracks, great movies, all three of them. I, th I still think the first one's my favorite just because it's the first one. But three is definitely better than two, in my opinion. But if you haven't seen it, I definitely recommend going and check that out. The movie was fucking, it was a great movie. Just a great movie. So that's all I have to say. Um, go ahead, call my boy. 
Let's see if he's ready for this. Oh, let me give y'all let me give you all the clips first. Check these out. So here's the first one. You make us all proud. These are gonna be hard. At least I think I always say this, but then they end up fucking killing it, so. Welcome to my nightmare! <laughs> Please don't go back. Let me try that again. Welcome to my nightmare! <laughs> that one, man. If they get that one, I'm fucking, like, I'm done with this shit. I'm not doing it no more. Ah, well, I attended Juilliard. I'm a graduate of Harvard Business School. I travel quite extensively. I... Like I said, I made him a lot harder. Go! And, and, and then the dog! I, I That stupid dog! And... That one, if they can, if they can place that voice, it'll probably be pretty easy. Let it rain. <laughs> rain dance. <laughs> Tell them to comb the desert. Do you hear me? Comb the desert. That one might be easy. That one might be easy because they're both big Star Wars fans. So, hold on, I'm looking up an actor real quick. Yeah, that's what I thought his name was. Tell him to comb the de- Show yourself! No! <laughs> I don't think that one's gonna be easy, but. Show yourself! No! <laughs> I think one of them might get it, and the other one might not know that one. Mm. And you two motherfuckers need Jesus! <laughs> so those are the clips. Those are the clips I got for today. Hopefully. Hopefully I stump them, but these guys are really good. So here we go. I'm gonna call. I'm gonna call the first dude. Hello. Oh shit. <clears throat> What's the goddamn deal? I'll be chilling, bro. I'll be chilling. Welcome to the fiftieth episode of Recognize Real. <laughs> God damn. Yeah, bro. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Random question. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Who would win in an underwater battle? A shark or an alligator? Nowhere, baby. Slash crocodile. Either one. I think the I think they had a show on like Discovery Channel that was like I think I remember that show. Like, if these two animals ever met, what would happen? They had, like, a lion versus, like, a bear and shit like that. Yeah, and I, I think I, I think an alligator and a shark were part of that. And I think the shark was handing, like, hand-fucking up that, uh, the alligator. But then the alligator got him got him to shallow ground and it fucked him up. I think Something it would like come that. down. But I want to say... It would come down I want to say it comes down to... Go ahead. Well, see, that's the thing, though. Uh, hold on, garage door. I think it nah, would come down to um, whoever got their jaws on who first. Yeah, but which one would get tired first? Like, I feel alligators don't. They got to conserve their energy and shit. Yeah, they got to come up for air. Like they can hold their breath. Who you got? Hello. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know. I, the, this is hard for the, me. What's the area though? I say it's underwater. Like throw them in a pool. Uh, mm, I want to give it to the shark, bro. I think the shark would take it. I think the I think the shark would win too, unless the gator got its jaws on him first. Because I think what what is it like? The shark has like a mean ass. Like bite, but he can't open his jaw. Something like that. But and I think the gators I, I think twist. Think Gat- gators can move, have more movement than a shark, huh? Yeah, them niggas is agile, or is it a guyly? I don't know how to say that word. Agile. I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Huh? <laughs> if a gator rips off that Ameri- fin or that tail or something, man, it's yeah. over. Well, I mean, it has to happen because in, like, I think Australia or Africa, probably both, they have crocodiles that go into salt water. Oh, shit. So I'm sure they do come across each other. Let's and buy there's a boat. bull sharks that go into fresh water. Let's buy a boat. 
and follow Shark I'm around. I'm good, bro. I'm good. Those are the types of animals I, don't, I ain't gonna fuck with. You gonna be in the boat. You'll be alright in the boat. Yeah, we ain't seen fucking Jaws and you ain't seen Meg and you ain't seen... Man, we talking uh, about those sharks aren't that big. No, they have sharks huge as fuck. Like, I'm not talking about big. a paddle boat, nigga. I mean, something that will be safe upon. Nah, dog. Y'all, y'all can have the ocean. We, 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 the ocean. we gonna be in a uh, canoe. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be in, a, be in an inflatable raft. Just like, whoa. That'd be fun. Did you have you seen that video of that woman and she's holding like her toddler trying to feed a fish or a shark? I think she's trying to feed a shark and the shark just fucking dives at him and she falls into the water. Oh the yeah, yeah, I have seen that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I bet you CPS as soon as that video got posted, CPS called her right immediately. <laughs> she just fucking fell in. <laughs> Like shitty dog. Oh man. Anyways. Hey, so I got eight for you, bro. And like I always say, I think they're hard, but then you fucking surprise me with your knowledge. You already called us uh last thug? No, you're first, bro. You're first. Oh, okay. Fuck. No pressure. Like first. <laughs> yeah. No pressure. He's on Just a... tell him I got tell him I got all eight of them right before you even play them. I got you. I got you. Put pressure on him. Get in his head. Well, I don't know, man. He just like named him alphabetically and shit. I, I didn't even play mm-hmm. any of the songs or any of the sound bites, bro. He just guessed them. He just guessed all eight. <laughs> <laughs> he just guessed all eight. Well, he answered the phone, said eight movies, and hung up. And they were all right. I know you. I, I know you seen the Ringer, right? Yeah. When the fuck do we it's get ice cream? Uh, yeah, my favorite scene, This is and this is what I feel like every time I do trivia with you, bro, is that scene where he's like, name any movie. And he's like, Jaws. He goes, that's a good movie. That's a good movie. <laughs> that's how I feel, bro. <laughs> that's, how, that's what always happens when we're on the pod together. It ends up happening for like 10 minutes. Yeah, we'll be talking about like some <laughs> random ass movie. And I'm like, oh shit, yeah, the movie did, and then we go back. Oh, man. Anyways... How you been, man? I've been good, bro. How was your grandma? You spent time with her yesterday? Yeah, she uh, she had us cook for my aunts in town. My aunt made a Them kale salad. Good. Shit was fire. Then, yeah, I made those wings. <laughs> that garlic parmesan at Buffalo Wild Wings fire, is right? fucking good, bro. That I fucking fuck sauce. I fuck with it tough. I fuck with it tough. That'll be the picture for this pot. One those wings. Picture of those wings. Or that one you sent me, even though it's very inappropriate. Oh, I don't think you might, they might not let you post that <laughs> one. I don't know what Freeze's sex is, bro. He sounds like a man, but he don't he's act a like racist, a man. He's a racist German. He's hilarious that, with all the racism. He's fucking racist, like, monkey! I'm like, dog, how did you get away with that? Yeah, and the voice actor is an old white lady, too. Oh yeah, she. I've seen her do. I, I've seen her do it. <laughs> Cause she's the same lady as the lady from Yu Yu Hakusho that plays Ginkai, the old, the old lady. Yeah. Um. Are right, you ready for the first one, bro? Yeah, let's go. All right. I'm excited. I'm super excited. I haven't seen anything. Like, oh yeah, I did. I saw the Pope's Exorcist yesterday. The I what? They wanted to watch the Pope's Exorcist. How was that? Is that the one Russell Crowe? Yeah, I thought, I ain't gonna lie, I thought him playing the Italian was gonna be, like, corny or, like, bad. But it, it was, a, it was his, his acting is great. Like, he's a good fucking actor. The movie's a little wild, like, just all over the place, you know? It wasn't scary. I got, like, action to movie me. vibes from it, from, from the trailer. It wasn't, it, was, it wasn't scary to me, but every time he spoke, I was like, damn, dog, that is Maximus, bro. He is the shit. I'm going to have to check that out. What y'all watch it on? You got to rent it on Paramount or, or uh, Prime or some shit. It's, it's, it's like a brand new movie. And we saw Scream 6. You know, uh, Redbox has an app? I just saw it on my TV right now. 
Redbox. I don't know if it has an app, but I know Redbox has their own movies they make, like their own produce, like they produce them, like Netflix does. Maybe that's what it is. It just says Redbox movies, and it's got a no. That's an old movie though. That's Brendan Fraser. <sighs> but my bad. We see we got we're bad at this, dog. Because we can try to drink. It's gonna be like a two hour fucking episode. Uh, it's cool because I gotta. I I need. I'm not supposed to call him till eight. Well, eight o'clock his time, so seven o'clock our time. So, so what's up with the uh, what was the subject today on your rant? Oh, I didn't, I didn't, I talked for like. Oh, five you need a rant? No. What the fuck, bro? Well, I don't got nothing to rant about. This is gonna be because I didn't do the trivia. Oh, you didn't do trivia last, last episode. Time. I'm gonna give yeah. the people double the trivia this week. Okay. For episode fifty. Well, shit. Let's get to it. All right. Here's the first one. You make us all proud. Go make us all proud. I think he said you'll make us all proud. Hold on. You'll make us all yeah. proud. You'll make us all proud. Is this a modern movie or like what you call it? Classic? What do you call modern? What do you consider modern? I, I say modern like modern to me is like super bad. I and mean, of course it's not, but like, you know, newer this, movies. This is a classic. With the, this is a with like better CGI. It's less practical. No, but... no, no. <laughs> no. Oh, so it's an old one. Like it got some bad. Yeah, it's classic. No CGI whatsoever. Okay. Sci-fi movie. <laughs> Did you say Fast Five? No, I said, is it a sci-fi movie? Oh, <laughs> that's why I was laughing. I was like, "Did you say Fast Five? I was like, "Oh, that shit was real. Holy fuck." Uh, no, it's, <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, yeah, it's sci-fi. It's sci-fi. I was like, hold like on. what they era? Eighties, eighties, nineties. Um, or I uh, want. It sounds like a nineties movie. I like, want to like say, I want to say nineties, but let me make sure. Because it could have been. It could have been. Oh, how do you spell it? There we go. Yep, 90s. Okay. Sci-fi. <sighs> you make us all proud. I feel like it's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2. It feels like that Shredder talking to someone. I, I don't want to say the monsters. It is. It's, it is. It's not. God damn, I'm good, bro. It's not two though. It's the first one. It's whenever he's. Oh, it's not. He's inducting all the foot people when he oh. first gets introduced. See, see, my problem is, dog. I and I'll admit, you don't have to give me the point or whatever. I I felt like you know I felt like Shredder or something. That was Shredder. But I you, you I, I mix I mix them both a lot. I mix them up. Like I combine the first and second one it's together. A, you do I don't that, know who. You do that because of nigga turtles. Yes, that's why. <laughs> that's, so that's why I'm so, giving, I have to give you that, bro. Because like, how the fuck? Uh, this nigga said Ninja Turtles, and I'm just over here like, God damn, bro. That was supposed to be hard. But I want you to know, like, the scene that popped up to me was I felt like all the foot soldiers were around him when he first saw the the two monsters. Mama. Mama. And then I was waiting for. I was like, I heard, I heard the the, the, the and I was like, what the fuck, dog? You said, and I heard you and what a random. Fuck out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, that's the scene where he first you, gets introduced it? with the hey, with the and bald like Asian the shadows, Mexican right? dude. I don't know what he's can, in you the can't the, place Hector, the dude. Hector, yeah. bro. He's Hector, dog. <laughs> you can't place him. He's like your master Shredder. With a super <laughs> racist accent, all the oh, all the foot man. clans are like in hey. the in the stadium around him. Some of them First have of their all, foot all the foot All the foot clan are fucking teenagers. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. Half of the group they were all in their ninja forms, and the other half was just a bunch of fucking kids, bro. And I honestly, when uh, that scene comes out, when they're um, when they're uh. What are they doing? Or like, they're in the arcade smoking cigars and shit. Oh, yeah, I was yeah. like, man, being, 
being a teenager in New York is so fucking cool. And then I was, re- then I, as a, then I grew up and I was like, holy shit, that is bad parenting. <laughs> like, how are they, all these kids just running around crazy? So what is this, a Rolex? Oh, hey, sweet cheeks. Bro, I can only <laughs> quote uh, Nigga Turtle. Nigga Turtle, bro. <laughs> Man, a big ass spider over here. A massive, massive splinter. I like, I like, he, I he like out with the cape, dog. with the cape on and shit. Yeah, yeah. I was like, damn. Ah, oh, shit. I can't believe you got that. You're getting that. I give you that one. Thank you. Man. All right, here's the second one. I'm kind of mad. I can't believe you got that so easy. All right, here's the second one. Welcome to my nightmare. <laughs> Welcome to my nightmare. <laughs> Play it again. Welcome to my nightmare. <laughs> Fuck. If you get this, I'm I was I was thinking out. Green Goblin, but I don't think there's Green Goblin. You're in the right vicinity, kinda. What happened? So you're in the right vicinity, kinda, as far as a bad guy. So it's guy. like, so it's Will, Willem Dafoe. No, no, I'm just saying it's a villain. Like, oh, it's a super villain, like a superhero villain. Yeah. Is it like Marvel, DC, or nope. is it like some obscure ass superhero? It's not Marvel or DC. That's all I'm gonna say. Welcome to my nightmare. That's all. Welcome to my nightmare. <laughs> is it? Oh, man. Is this a 90s movie? Maybe early 2000s. Let me double check. It's not Marvel or DC. Oh, yeah. I'm, not, I'm talking about... Yeah, it's 90s. I'm, I'm talking about, like, computer... I mean, a computer. I'm talking about, like, straight Marvel, DC. Not like Marvel Cinematic Universe, the DCU. None of that. Like, just oh, in general, it's not a, a Marvel or DC character. Right. It's not. Okay. See, I gotta break it down my characters. I don't think it's Spawn because I don't think the two the two bad guys in that I don't think they talk like that. When you think of Michael J. White, do you think of Spawn or Black Dynamite bars? Man, um, I think I go for Spawn first, bro. Really? He's Black Dynamite, dog. And he is Black Dynamite because because. <laughs> My, one of the funniest lines in movies, like that, has almost put me in tears every time I see it. Is when he goes, when that bitch is talking shit, and he oh, goes, yeah. "I don't even gotta look. I know it's you. I know it's you, Juanita." He said, and that that shit there, dog. Someone sent me back to homeboy with them hot ass yeah. coat, with the hot, <laughs> with hot ass, ass coat, with the, with the hot ass hangers, <laughs> bitch. You want that? <laughs> And then she just backs up, fool. <laughs> like she wasn't even like that wasn't even like part of the scene. That's how good it was. Oh, man, he does that oh, again man. to her in the in the cartoon too. <laughs> Cream corn. Cream corn. I'm running things. I'm sorry, running we, things. All right, we got off topic no. again. Hold yeah, on. we got off topic. <laughs> all right. Welcome to my nightmare. <laughs> Is it animated? No. So it's live action? C. That means yes. Is it like, a, is Street Fighter a comic book? Is it, It's not Street Fighter, no. Okay, I was thinking of M. Bison. That movie was so bad. Yeah, man. The original one was bad. The one with Michael it. Clark Duncan was bad. Oh, I didn't see that one. That was so bad. It was worse than Dragon Ball in my eyes. I don't even think I've seen Dragon Ball. Oh man, don't! You're lucky. You're one of the lucky few. We should watch I, that. I've, se- I've seen the scenes where like he's scrubbing his head on the car, and I was like, "What is this Goku? Like, who the fuck is this guy?" We should watch that. But now, um, damn. Stream. So, welcome to my nightmare. Not is it? I'm thinking of comic book movies from the '90s, and I'm thinking of, like League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. Um. Damn, dog. I can't. I can't think of other comic book movies. You want me to tell you? No, 
No. <laughs> I'm not just gonna let I'm you joking. keep guessing. I'm not just gonna let you keep guessing, bro. No, I know, I know. I'm, <laughs> you're, really just gonna, me, you're just gonna fucking fall upon it. Yeah, yeah. Nah, <laughs> nah. This is a, this is like stuff like rolling in my head. Like this, this is basically all inside my brain right now. That's why I'm thinking the way I'm thinking. Um, fuck. What did I came out in that era? Superhero movies, not Marvel, DC. Um. Uh, play it again. Welcome to my nightmare. <laughs> Fucking a dog. Yeah, go ahead. Tell me. This one, I, I don't. I can't. It's Ivan News. What is it? Oh, it's Power Rangers. It's Ivan News. Bro. Wow. <laughs> that's that's a deep cut. You, you you might not believe me, but I was. That's where I was thinking, but I was like. That's is a, that that's a deep damn point. I should have just I should have just said it I should have just threw it out there fuck alright Mighty Morphin Power Rangers yeah, and it is a comic book yep that's why I stopped talking it became a comic book after the fact it's still it is a comic book I need to watch the Netflix shit the Power Rangers Forever or whatever the new one yeah I heard it's cool yeah it's pretty good it's just like watching the episode with all the old la- they're all old bro yeah that's cool though. I used to fuck with that shit yeah. too. So, all right, one for two. You ready for three? Damn, man, I should have got that second one. Yeah, I'm. I don't think. I don't think Black Stubbs is gonna get that one, bro. I think that's before his time. Both of those, actually. But I told him. I told him it's gonna be some hard. I'm ones. pissed though because I should have fucking known that one. I've been fucking ooze, man. The fucking, the, the bird people, bro. Hell yeah, and then <laughs> he fucking was trying to make all the parents walk to their death. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, holy shit. The black, the black Ranger was a frog, and he goes, I'm a frog. This is badass. You ready for three? All right, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, well, I attended Juilliard. I'm a graduate of the Harvard Business School. I travel quite extensively. Beetlejuice. Oh, what the fuck? How'd you get that so fast? I just know that movie, so I watch that movie a lot. Oh, just, my God. Hey, what'd he say? <laughs> hey, what'd he say? He goes, he goes. I've seen Exorcist about 752 times. He said, I lived throughout, um, the, pl- I lived throughout the plague. That was fun. The plague? Yeah, that was fun. <laughs> you know they're making a sequel, right? With Michael Keaton? Yep. And, oh, um, shit. Uh, who's the host? I think William Defoe is going to be in it. I always like that writer. lady. The wife. When Anna Ryder is going to be in it. You know who the wife is, right? Well, who is she? Because I always liked her. I thought the, she was pretty. She's the mom from Home Alone. She's a shit creep. Not that one. She's not, at, not her. I'm talking about the dead wife. Oh, uh, Alec, Gina, the Baldwin's Gina, wife. Yeah, yeah. Gina. What's her name? Gina Davis. I always liked yeah, her. Yeah, she's in a bunch of shit, too. The, the blonde lady, she's a mom in every fucking thing. She's home alone with her mom. Horrible mother. Horrible. She's even oh, a bad mom in, uh, fucking... in that movie. Yeah. I can't believe but you she... got Beetlejuice without even the, the fucking have you ever seen... sample even being Have done. you ever seen uh, Best in Show? No. It's like all those all those people like Eugene Levy, the mom from Home Alone. It's basically like a, a, a fake documentary oh, about shit. people who put their, their dogs in dog shows. Mm-mm. It's, it's a certain type of it takes a certain type of humor, but it's a really good fucking movie. Can't believe you got that so fast. I'm upset. Two for three. Damn, every time I think I get you, bro, you get me. You, you ready for me. four? <laughs> uh huh. All right. Go and and then the dog. I I that stupid dog. And... The dog. The stupid dog. Play it again. Go and, and, and then the dog. I, I, that stupid dog. And... Uh, would it be animated? Maybe. Yeah, it is. Is it newer? No. Oh, it's an old one. Yeah. Huh. Not Disney, huh? Uh, no, not Disney. How old are we talking? Um, it it was it was on when we grew up. 
Go mm. and, and and the dog. I I that stupid dog. And... Let me see. Let me see if I can pull it. It sounds like it sounds like Tommy Pickles. But I don't think it, that's Tommy Pickles. Is it is it Rugrats? Like a Rugrats movie? No. No. Damn. That I, that's that's my guess, dog. Uh, drawing a blank there. Hold on, let me see something. <clears throat> that's crazy, bro. That's crazy. You 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 don't have another guess. You give up. Play it again. Go and. And the dog! I, I, that stupid dog! I just, you just. Nah, dog, I don't got to. Okay, I well, I just looked it up, and it's the same voice actress as Tommy Pickles. Oh, who plays Tommy Pickles? It's uh, Buttercup from Powerpuff yeah, Girls. Yeah, 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 it's the Powerpuff, Powerpuff Girl Girls. Movie. She does a bunch of shit, dog. She's... It's the Powerpuff Girl movie. Oh, have you damn. seen that hoe? Nah. Hey, I was just telling John. It's that good. Fire. Yes, that's a good fucking movie, bro. It's Power like, Club, Power Club Girls is a great cartoon. That's what I'm saying. It's it's their origin story. Man, that was good. It's yeah, a, that's a, dope. The movie is about how, uh, like, the a couple of weeks after they got made, they're trying to like settle into real life and shit. Okay. They don't know. How to yeah, I never powers. seen that. That's a new one. And I might check that one out. You find out, uh, Mojo Jojo is like basically their brother. It was like their pet. He belonged. I think they do it. He one was of the that, episodes. That's where they the found out that. Pet. Yeah. And whenever he, whenever he's the reason that the the he ran into him and made him hit the chemical X. Damn. And that's the that's reason the chemical crazy. X went into the their batch. The and some of it got on him. Spice and everything nice. Yeah, and then some of it got on his head, and that's why he's so smart. It's a good Meanwhile, movie, bro. Huh? Yeah. No, I was. Thinking of the cartoon, damn dog. Yeah, I never seen that, but in two for I mean, two well, four now. Well, that, that now you have to go Shit. see it. Yeah, that's a good one. To watch with Selena. Uh, shit, I'll come over and watch that with y'all. Uh, was that four or three? That was four. That was the fourth one. So you're two for four. Mm-hmm. All right, here's five. Let it rain. Rain dance. What? <laughs> he said, "Let it ride." He said, "Let it rain." Then he get. Then he said, "Rain dance." And then someone, someone got. Let it ride. Rain dance. <laughs> Play it again. Let it ride. Rain dance. Uh. Oh, Go ahead. Uh, <laughs> um, I need a hint on that one, bro. Um, came out in the early two thousands. <clears throat> it's got one hell of a cast. It's not a sports movie. Uh, no, but it is a sports scene. Is it like a a college movie? No. Has a hell of a cast. Damn. This is a good one. I don't know, man. It's a long came Polly. Damn, this a uh, white chocolate? That's Philip Seymour, yeah. <laughs> when he's shooting the basketball. white chocolate, bro. <laughs> Damn, man. That, uh, that thud noise is him breaking that hoe. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> rest in peace. That was a good movie. Rest in yeah, peace. Yeah, rest in peace, dog. That nigga, That's a good movie. Let it rain. Doom. <laughs> Damn. Oh, man. See, deep cuts today, baby. Deep yeah. Cuts. Two for five. That Fuck. came out in 2004. Damn. 
All right, here's six. I want to comb the desert, do you hear me? Comb the desert! Huh. Uh, space balls? Oh, God damn it, bro. <laughs> we ain't find shit. <laughs> <laughs> bro, they had the big ass combs. <laughs> they were combing the fucking sand. <laughs> Believe in the Schwartz. He said, he said, don't you, you got, you got pizza the hood. We're being too literal, sir. No. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to call the desert. Damn, bro. Dog. <laughs> That's Rick Moranis. Yeah, bro. Fucking classic, dog. Honey, I shrunk the kids. Those were fucking Ghostbusters. And Losers, then they, man. He's in, he's in a bunch of shit. And then the guy who, uh, who said the quote is in bed with those chicks. I forget his name. But yeah, I can't believe you got that, man. The, the ones I'm thinking are going to be hard are always the ones you fucking get. Oh, man, that's a, that's a, that's an iconic line. Because I, I, as soon as you say comb the desert, I imagine the stormtroopers with dragging the fucking comb across that whole dog. <laughs> yeah. Shit. So I'm three for six. Yes, sir. You got right. two more. Hold on to me. Man, bro. You ready? Yeah. So that was six. Show yourself! No, bro. That was it. Play it again. <laughs> that was quick, dog. Show yourself. No. He said, show "What's you, he saying? He show yourself. Show yourself." Play it again. <laughs> show yourself. No. <laughs> show yourself. Is this um? What's the movie with Sean Wayne when it's a haunted house and that's home? But where your furniture at, cuz? That's it. Yeah, you said it. Haunted house. Yeah, Damn. It's Avion Crockett. That's Avion Crockett. A, I know Crockett, his voice. The, the goat, bro. I know his voice, bro. Yeah, <laughs> dog. He, he is fucking funny, man. He said, I don't give a fuck. Give a fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Show yourself. He said a ghost. Like a ghost ghost? <laughs> like a ghost ghost? <laughs> Oh man! I what's, it called, what's the movie called? Uh, uh, fucking the haunted house. What's yeah, haunted, haunted house. house. Yeah, yeah, haunted house. Yeah, Had I mixed that one Tango. and the other one. Yeah, he's a fucking fucking Nick Swartzen, bro. And then uh, ain't, the, ain't Gabriel Iglesias? Yeah, in yeah, it? he's in. He's the next door neighbor. I think that's <laughs> he's the like, second, oh yeah, you want me to do your yard next? <laughs> I don't know if that's the second or yeah, the first one. That is the second one. I think that is the second one because the second one's the one where. He's oh, girl, uh, girl, she gets, uh, she has, a, uh, uh, what do you call it? Sex with the fucking ghost? That's the first one. Oh, damn. See, the I be making movies of, bro. The second one's with the white girl. <laughs> with the chick from, uh, Those my, movies name, are is, funny. my hey. name is Earl. Yeah. I'm your Those sister. Are funny. I'm your sister. <laughs> you know, I met a white person that's never seen Joe Dirt. Uh, well, the white people sometimes they don't. You know, it's not just white people. Man. People in general sometimes don't watch movies. Like, like people aren't into movies like we are, bro. But like, I feel like other, they're like Joe in the Dirt's other shit, like white people sports movie. or fucking politics. But Joe Dirt's a white person movie. That's like a black like it's like no Friday. Joe Dirt. Joe Dirt crosses cultural. How? Like there's not even borders. a black, who's a black person in that movie. There's, there's no black, black people in <laughs> the dog. But I guarantee just you, the Indian you, dude. you say a quote, you say a quote from Joe Dirt <laughs> from anybody who's maybe twenty five to about thirty seven, doesn't matter. They're gonna know it. Dang. That Joe Dirt. Dang, is this queer? Is this queer right here? <laughs> And then they just push him into the fucking trash can, dog. He said, I'm cool. No, you're not. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> so get a wham burger inside his French fries. He said, can I have the apple core when you're done with it? 
Hey, no. <laughs> <laughs> fool, he's like, okay, okay, I put the lotion on. Say, you... and, by the way, something with that thing with the dog coming off a little freaky. What do you say? What do you say? You talking to me? What's his, uh, uh, Christopher Walken? Yeah, no, he's gonna stab you. You talking to my man all wrong? With a, stop, with a solder and I. Oh man, I can go all day with Joe Dirt, bro. Oh yeah. Damn. So that's what. Uh, that. Uh, you got five. For I mean, seven. Five for seven, right? Think, or four for seven. I believe that's five. I think that's four for seven, yeah. Because, yeah, that's you four got for seven. one, you got that wrong. You make us. You got that right. Welcome to my. You got that one wrong. Ah, you well, one. I attended Julia. Huh? You had that one like a fucking autistic person. Go and Got that one wrong, so that's two for four. Let it ride! That was two for five. I didn't get that one. Three for six, three, four for seven. Four for seven. Alright, here's eight. And you two motherfuckers need Jesus. Ooh. (laughs) (laughs) Play that again, dog. And you two motherfuckers need Jesus. Is that a Seth Rogen movie? No. (laughs) <laughs> Not even no. close. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that is, this one's on the tip of my tongue. Like it's like, uh, like right there. Mm. And you two motherfuckers need Jesus. Oh fuck! I know you know this one. I know it. I know. I know it, bro. It's not. It's not. Um. Is white boys in it? There are white people in the movie, yes. No, like one of the main characters. No. Not like no. not like extra dog. No. <laughs> <laughs> not like the guy in the back. No, there's there's uh no, not the main characters, no. You motherfuckers mean Jesus. I re- I remember her saying that. But in what movie? It's a big black chick, huh? Mm. Yeah. And you two motherfuckers need Jesus. Damn. Damn, dog. This one's going to piss me off if I don't get it. Because I, I know it. Comedy, early 2000s. Um, let me look that up. Yeah? Let me look that up. I want to say, if it's not like 2006 or something, it's like 99, like. Yeah, early two thousands. Good call. Damn. Yeah, dog. I'm We're telling you, I, I know. Old. I like. Yeah, we are. Dog, I know this one. No, uh, she walks out. Right, she hears him talking about some shit. Is it a uh, bad boy? Mm. Yeah. And you two motherfuckers need Jesus. It's bad two. boys too. Yep. After they had the two. conversation about him shooting yeah, him in the yeah, butt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're in the fucking. They're in the TV room. Yeah. After playing the porno and shit. You see, you got he goes, man, I'm just, I just, and gay he's like, man, I can't just. And what's his name's in it? The Gary Owen, the comedian. Yeah. He's the <laughs> fucking guy selling the TV. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, yeah, dog. Okay. That's a, five that's, for eight. Five for eight, bro. It's better than I thought. So, I should have got the Power Rangers one. You should have got the Power Rangers one for sure. Along came Polly and the, the Power Poker movie got me. I ain't gonna lie, but I should have had that fucking one. Like, I was in that area, but I mean, hey, I tried my best, so that's all I could do. Now you just gotta watch Power Pop Girls, bro. And now you gotta watch Long Came Polly, too. <clears throat> and fucking Power Rangers. I can't believe I missed that, dog. Bro, that's be, really fucked up. I'd be down to Because it's ooze, same. It's eyes and ooze, bro. It's and fucking like, news, bro. I'd be down to trip balls and watch Power Rangers with you. I don't know. That, that shit might be a little too dark. Nah, that's a dark ass movie, bro. <laughs> The ooze, the fucking mind control, the uh oh, here comes trouble. I remember the song. But that scene where they, uh, in the beginning, where they skydive and the White Rangers, the only one with the snowboard. Yeah, like, why? Racist. But why? The White Ranger gets to do all the cult, the, the cool shit. But why? Why? He was in the sky. Why did he need, like, 
It's like right. jumping it's out. Ranger, bro, R.I.P. I mean, shit, you could, I thought that was cool as fuck. As a kid, for sure. Damn, dog. I hope he, I hope he, what if I he don't know, to, man. Some of what if he had to run some of these movies head? are older than him, bro. Like, they're, old, they're actually older than him. Yeah. Makes sense. What's, <laughs> what's his name? Uh, Tommy? Yeah. His real name, uh, I forget, but R.D., I think he's uh, Frank or something, D. Frank. I don't know. It's, I think his initials are R.D. He, he was from Houston, bro. Like, he lived in Houston. He did UFC. Or not UFC, like, uh, mixed martial arts. He had a gym. Yeah, the the Greeks said, said he, he was pretty cool. Personally. Yeah, they said he was real cool if you came up to him and shit. He was all about the fans. Like, he wasn't an asshole or nothing. He even played he himself who... in uh, those, the, the YouTube series where they had the people fighting yeah, each other. Yeah, yeah, he played the Green yeah. Yeah, the Black, anyway, Black. Major. What's it called, bro? The Black, Black, Bat Sun or Bat in the Sun Bat in production? The sun. Yeah, was, yeah, those are dope. That was a good ass fucking. Um, fucking people predator, hey, predator people should Wolverine. check that shit out. Yeah, for real. People Bat should check sun. those out. They had uh, Captain America oh, versus uh, Master Chief. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. They sick. did Scorpion versus who? Batman. It was not. I feel like they did a they did a lot of Batman. They one. did Scorpion versus Red Ranger and Ryu versus no Scorpion versus White Ranger and Ryu versus uh, Green Ranger. Cool man. And they had That's Batman versus five, Wolverine, baby. and Batman fucked. Wolverine. I mean, Wolverine fucked Batman up. Yeah, I mean. I saw something on Facebook where it was Black Panther, Shuri, and I guess a new Black Panther that exists or something like that versus Wolverine, X-23, and Sabretooth. And they have all their powers and they don't have any moral and they can't have, you know, backup for anybody. And everybody was saying like, "Oh, Black Panther should win because he has to." Just by himself is a fucking savage. But what I'm saying is, it ain't. Of course, Black Panther. Like you got the powers of Black Panther. Yeah, you'd fuck them up. But all three of them have a healing factor that they won't stop. They'll get right like they up. won't stop at all. So it'd be a war of attrition. Like they were going to keep. They go- Black Panther would be tired before. Fucking Wolverine and Sabretooth and X-23 would. X-23 doesn't have the experience, but Sabretooth and Wolverine alone. You got to think, Wolverine was a CIA assassin, a ninja, a samurai, plus an X-Men, plus an Avenger. Like, Homeboy alone has, Every war. Every war, he has experience (laughs) enough, like... If he was was old enough, do you think he would have been in the Union, or what side of the war do you think he would have been on? Um, well, they do that in the in the in the, the X Men origin Wolverine. He's in the Civil War with um, Sabretooth, but they're on the Union side. I can see Wolverine I wasn't no racist though. Sabretooth being on the Confederate. Nah, you remember when the uh, Wolver uh, Sabretooth took Deadpool to go kill his, his parent? That was fucked up. And then he didn't even know what he who he did. What Deadpool didn't know what he did, bro. Like because they kept scooping his brain out. It's fucked up. Man. Comics, comics are bro. fucked up. Deadpool's comics are fucked up. They don't understand, man. People don't understand that that dude just made me cry yeah. just as much as he made me laugh. The good, oh, bad, yeah. and the ugly, man. Read that. That's one of the best comics written out of the new era. Like he has that was like it's beautiful. It's like great because it's all three spectrums, bro. You got Captain America, Wolverine, and Deadpool, and like they're all part of Weapon X at some point. And you could just see how it affected each of them differently and shit. It's just, oh man, it, the it's great, man. I love it. I love that one. I should look that. One. I want the hard copy of that. I've been I've been trying to find it. This shit's fucking expensive. All the good ones are, bro, and they're like, oh, and it sucks because I read them and I had the app and all that shit, but. Having a physical copy of a comic book that you love is a little bit different than reading it online. I want that one, and I want uh, Ronan. The TMNT. <clears throat> yeah, the Ronan. Yeah, I want to read that. I don't know. Well, they're making that into they're making into a game with the supposedly it's going to have the mechanic of God of War. Oh, so that's, that's going to be great. Sick. I'd play the fuck out of that. After watching you stream Ragnarok. 
I was gonna pop in um I was gonna pop in uh, uh the first one, Valhalla. Is yeah, that what it's called? Is that, or is this God of War, huh? This is God of War, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That kid, um, man. But I was playing fucking You've been through some shit, dog. Man. I can't wait to see. And then um I was gonna tell you I've been playing uh, Modern Warfare three. Ooh. Game. And I haven't played that one in a very long time. On the what are you playing on? Oh, okay. The 360. And it's like a brand new game for me because I don't remember anything. Are you playing the, the story mode or are you doing the, like the... they got the I'm doing the story mode. mode. Now I'm going to do the story mode and then I'm going to play survival because I remember putting that's, hours in on survival, that's bro. That's just fun, bro. The niggas just keep that playing. And, that and Marvel vs. Capcom are the two games that I want. Or I want to get Marvel vs. Capcom for a 360. Marvel. Did you ever play that those? Game, that game, that's a, what happened? Did you ever play those X-Men games where you pick like three X-Men and you, they, you jump? Oh, like, like Marvel Alliance? Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And shit like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, nah. Those are good fucking games, dude. I heard uh, the, the, what you call it? Isn't it the... the the Sons of the Night or whatever. What's the new one that just came out? It's supposedly like that. Oh, I don't know. The Black Suns, and it's like, it's Wolverine, Moon Knight, mm-hmm. uh, Doctor Strange, and someone else. Oh, what's it called? Knights of the Sun? I don't fucking know, but it's supposedly like one of those games. I'm going to look that up because those games are sick. Black, it's like Black Suns or Suns. I don't fucking know. One of your... Someone will let you know what it is. Oh, man. Well, shit, that was good, bro. This is... Midnight Suns. I was trying to go in with a blank mind. It's called Midnight Suns. Midnight Suns. I was close. Something was fun. Well, I appreciate you answering, bro. Anytime, oh, bro. damn. This is a new movie. Uh, a new game. Yeah, it just came out. We got it for the PS5. It's got Ghost Rider, Wanda... Yeah, yeah. Right. I'm, apparently, like, it's really good, but I, I don't know. Is that Blade? Played. Oh, shit. They got and Blade I think you fight, like, vampire, you, you're fighting, like, monsters and shit. And then this guy, what's her name? Magic from the X-Men? Yeah. She's OP. That's dope. I might have to check that out. All right, brother. Fucking love yes, you, dog. You killed it. Yeah, love you too, bro. Say so. Right, Tell Selena, so what's up. Tell Taddy, so what's up. All right, bro. All right, man. I will. Later, man. Peace. Yeah. Fucking killed it, man. He fucking killed it. Let's see. Yeah, five for eight. Let's see how Chris does. Hello? Yo, yo, yo. What's the damn deal? What's going on, Jared? How's it going, buddy? Man, same old, same old. This is uh, episode 50. Super trivia. Oh, nice. Yes, sir. So I called my buddy before you. He did pretty well. Okay. All right. I'm nervous. He, he, uh, some he, uh, he answered the phone, said eight movies, and hung up, and they were all right. It's fucking crazy. That's a lie. He didn't even hear the sound bites. That's I'm, crazy. I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> he did good. He did good. But uh, let's see how you do, man. Well, before that, how are you right. doing? I'm doing very well, my friend. How are you? I'm doing well, man. How would y'all do for Miss Shelley on uh, Mother's Day? Uh, Miss Shelley, my mother was with Matt and her grandchild in Delaware. Nice. So I just gave her a phone call to her. I loved her. Thank her for all her sacrifices and everything she invested in me and all that good stuff. She's That's the best. Good. That's good. Yeah, Michelle's dope, man. I miss yeah. Her. I miss her, man. Um, and, and and how was your mother's day uh, for your mom? You uh, same, a call? same, just gave her a call, but uh, I cooked for my grandma. Me and my aunt cooked for my grandma, made some wings for her. Awesome, awesome. They turned out pretty good, if I do say so myself. Nice. Turned out pretty damn good. So, uh, you know how it goes. I got eight sound bites for you, and I, I think they're hard, but apparently I what's hard for me isn't hard for you guys. Okay. So we're going to see. So here's the first one. You ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. You make us all 
proud. Did you hear? Make us all proud. Yeah, that's it. Um, you'll make us all proud. Is it Transformers? No. Okay. It's a. Uh, you'll make us all older. You'll make us all proud. Is it Blade? No. You'll make us all proud. You'll make us all proud. Good guess on the Blade, though. I think he did say, the, the father did say something like that to the daughter. Is it the original Planet of the Apes? No. Damn. Uh, yeah, yeah you, you, might, you might. I think I was something the first one. Yeah, I don't know. It's uh, Master Shredder, Ninja Turtles. Ah, Ninja Turtles. When not, he's not inducting enough. that one dude into the Foot Clan, he says that to him yeah. as he gives him his headband bars. I think, you know what, growing up as a kid and watching the, the live action movies, I, I even as a kid, I, I wasn't buying the uh, rubber suit. So right. I was always more I was, I was always more into like like the animated series. Like any animated TMNT, I was all I was all about it. Have you seen that new one coming out? Uh I've heard about it. The animation oh, is really cool and, and the cast is really cool. So the cast um, is amazing and like you said, that animation is fucking insane. It's like a comic book. Is it already out? I don't think so. I think it comes out like sometime this year. On on Netflix? Oh, I think it's gonna be a real movie. Nickelodeon films. Oh, a movie. Oh, I thought the show was so amazing. Okay, okay. It's like Mutant, uh, Mutant Mayhem. Okay, see. okay. Comes out August 4th, 2023. Oh, okay. That's what's that. Hey, All right. Yeah, now, let's do that. a sound bite uh, two. Are right, you ready? I'm ready. Welcome to my nightmare! <laughs> oh, I should know that one. Dang, but I'm, I'm probably not going to pull it. Um, <laughs> you got welcome it, to my nightmare. Welcome to my nightmare. I should know that. Damn, I know that movie. Uh, welcome to my nightmare. <laughs> welcome to my nightmare. I should know that. Welcome to my night. Welcome to my nightmare. The maniacal laugh. Welcome to my night. <laughs> can, can, can you play it again? Yes, sir. Welcome to my nightmare. <laughs> mm. Welcome to my nightmare. I got some deep cuts for you today, man. Yeah, deep cuts. Mm. I don't know that one. I don't know it. I don't know it. You wanna you wanna come back to it or you wanna move on? Um Because I, I think you know it. I think I know it. And and this time around I'm trying not to ask for any clues. It's either I know it or I don't. Um <laughs> that's real. <laughs> Welcome to my nightmare. Uh is it um is it who painted uh, Roger Rabbit? No. Welcome to my nightmare. Um, I wonder if it's hold on. I don't think it is, but it does kind of sound like that dude. Um, is it um, is it uh, what's it called that? Uh, is it uh, we're back a dinosaur story? No, great movie though. Damn. Uh, welcome to my nightmare. It, it it sounds like a like a dark circus master, like someone who's leading like something. Is it, is it Nightmare Before Christmas? The Boogeyman? Nope. It's crazy. Is, 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 is this a soundbite too? Yeah, this is two, yeah. Okay, I don't know. <laughs> I'm trying to find the actor. It's Ivan Ooze. It's what? Ivan Ooze. Oh, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Dang. <laughs> Ivan Ooze. <laughs> Dang. I, I knew it sounded familiar. And that's not familiar. I know that movie. All right. All right. I, I, I got to get this one. I got to get number three or else I'm, I'm in bad shape. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers and TMNT. You ready for three? I'm ready for three. All right. Here it goes. Ah, well, I attended Juilliard. I'm a graduate of the Harvard Business School. I travel quite extensively. I... <laughs> what? What? <laughs> <laughs> 
What is that? That's a movie? <laughs> a commercial. Yeah, it's a movie. Um, it's a classic. Okay, but, but, it's a classic. A classic? Yeah. Ah, well, I, I attended Juilliard. I'm a graduate of the Harvard Business School. I travel quite extensively. I... I had to cut it off because if I if I let the next part play, it would have been too easy. Juilliard. No. Is it is it Don't Be a Menace at South Central? While no. Taking a juice in the hood? No. Dang. It's not a it's not a comedic classic. It's got it's some funny parts, part. but it's not a comedic classic. Dang. It sounds like. It, play it again. See if I can get the voice. Ah, well, I attended Juilliard. I'm a graduate of the Harvard Business School. I travel quite extensively. I came out in the eighties. Late eighties. Late eighties. Um late eighties. Harvard Business School. I have no idea. This is crazy. Yeah, these are these are good. <laughs> these are these are random. I have no idea. Like they're not they're not famous lines, they're not iconic lines, they're just lines from movies. Um Harvard Business School. Is it Crocodile Dundee? No. Hmm. Good guess though. I like where your head's at. I'm trying to it's, it's, it sounds like a like a, a sport like a snob, like like a rich prick, you know, has a they got fancy background. To, uh late eighty. Like 1986 or something? I don't know. Uh, can you play it again? Ah, well, I attended Juilliard. I'm a graduate of the Harvard Business School. I travel quite extensively. I, I attended? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> give up? I give up. It's Beetlejuice. What? Whenever he goes, what are your qualifications? He says, well, I attended Juilliard, uh, all that. Then he goes, I lived through the bubonic plague. That was fun. I've seen the exorcist about a hundred times, and it gets funnier every time. (laughs) 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 That's uh, that's Um, Michael Keaton. That's his voice? Yeah, that's him. Ah, well, I attended Juilliard. I'm a graduate of the Harvard Business School. I travel quite extensively. I... That man is a genius. Oh, man. <laughs> That's um, whenever they ask him what his qualifications are because they're trying to get those people that... out of their house. Oh, man. Um, have, have you seen Beetlejuice? Of course I've seen Beetlejuice. I was about what to say, heck? he's going to have some homework. No, I, I've seen it. Of course I've seen Beetlejuice. My buddy I, said I, they're I, making I, a second one. I didn't know that. They are making a second one, yeah. They're they're, they're 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 turning uh Jenna Ortega into the new Scream Queen. Like every 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 horror gothic story they're gonna produce in Hollywood, she's probably gonna be in it. Cool. Well I'm good. As long as she doesn't have to do that dance again, I know she hates that dance. <laughs> All, All right, right, number four. Oh for I gotta three. Get right. Ooh, I gotta get something. You're gonna get something. Let me see if you get this one. Go and and then the dog. I I that stupid dog and What the heck? I man, I, I dug deep for this one, man. Play it again. Go and and, and then the dog. I I that stupid dog. And... <laughs> it's, it's an animated movie. Yeah. Go and and, and then the dog. I I that stupid dog. And... Dog and the stupid dog and the, the dog. Oh, um, okay. okay, 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 okay. This one I should pull. Okay. The the dog and the stupid dog is it, is um um uh, American Tale? No. New it's newer than that. Newer than that. But oh, it's <laughs> hold on, let me see. Let me give you a. It came out early two thousands. Early two thousand. And it's not Disney. It's not Disney. No. It's not Disney. Early 2000s. Animation. 
Um, is it the Harold movie? No, but you're you're on the right track. Is it okay? Okay, um, it's a movie based off of a show. The dog and the stupid dog and the listen to the voice. Uh, oh, and, and and the dog. I I that stupid dog. And... Oh, okay. Finally, okay. Put me on the scoreboard. Um, this is um uh Rugrats, right? Nope, <laughs> that's what my buddy said Rugrats? too. It's oh, not yeah. Rugrats. <laughs> It's not Rugrats. It's not Rugrats? Nope. Dang, that's wild. I, I, no, now I sound stupid. Um, <laughs> I, was so, I was so sure. I was so sure. <laughs> that's a um, good, but that's a solid guess, and I'm going to tell you why. Okay. Early, early 2000s, based on a show. See, now it's not fair, because now I'm going to guess until I get it. You're just going to start guessing best. shows. <laughs> I'll give you two, um, two more guesses. I'm, I'm, okay. Go and, and, and then the dog. I, I that stupid dog. And... It's in the voice. I know that's, you know that's it. Definitely, that's definitely the same voice as Tommy Pickles. But it's not Tommy Pickles. Put your phone Who down. Who else? Would that... Put your phone down. I'm not, I'm not Googling anything. I'm just, I'm just fucking with you. I know how offended I you am, get when I say that. I, I, am, I, am, I am speaking into the into the phone that is it I am looking at, at my beautiful plant um <laughs> it's definitely the same voice actor as, as Tommy Pickle because I found I was like dog in the super oh man early 2000s show and I got a movie it's not Wild Thornberries it's not Rugrats it's not hey Arnold. I, I already guessed hey Arnold that wasn't it Go um, and, and then the dog. I, I, that stupid dog. And... Oh, is it? Um, is it a Powerpuff Girls? Yep. Oh my god! It's a Powerpuff Girls movie. Powerpuff Girls. Tommy Pickles has the same voice actress as uh, Buttercup. Buttercup. So. I, I just, I just learned that right now too. What's up? So, um, uh, in the early 2000s, before we moved to Maryland, they were still in Boston, and the Hey Arnold movie came out, and Matt asked um, our our dad to take him to the movie to see it, and he did. And Ava and I were really jealous. So then, um, when um, when no 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 sorry I messed up no, the Jimmy Neutron movie came out. And and Matt Great. and Matt went, went went to the movies uh, with my dad, and he came back all excited because he because it was all you know it, it was fun. It's a good movie. And I was all jealous. And then when the Hey Arnold movie came out, I asked my dad to take me, and he did. <laughs> and then we then we moved to uh, to, to Maryland, and the Power of Girls movie came out, <laughs> and Aiden asked my dad to take them, and I was like, Power of Girls, <laughs> no. <laughs> Pop of Girls were the shit. They it was, were the I fucking love, shit. I, I know, but, 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 but my dad didn't know that. <laughs> like, like I like no one, no one was clowning AJ for wanting to see the Pop of Girls movie. We're like hell yeah, because like, we, like we all watched the show. Like, well, why would you not? But uh, my dad was like, Pop of Girls? What the, what the hell? No, I'm, I'm not taking to see Pop of Girls. <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> But, um, okay, great. So I'm You're on one the board. Four. One for I'm four. On you ready for five? I'm ready for the fifth sound bite. All right, here it comes. Let it rain! Rain dance! Oh, that also sounds familiar. Let it... Okay, I can't really make it what he's saying, but... He's saying let it rain, and then he goes rain dance. Let it rain, rain dance. The thuds are important too. Let it rain, rain dance. Is is, is that um is that is that um water boy? Nope. Let it rain, rain dance. Is it um is it Dumb and Dumber? Nope. Let it rain. It sounds like a comedy. It has to be a comedy. It is a comedy. That's, 
it's a, it's a funny it's a funny bet. Um, let it rain, rain dance. Oh oh oh! I got it. Um, uh, American Pie. Nope. Are you serious? No, that's serious. Not American Pie. Is it close to American Pie? <laughs> um, I think it's a little classier than American Pie. A little classier, okay. but it's still comedy. Let it, let it rain, rain dance. Let it rain. Rain dance. See what well, what I'm hearing is let it rain brain dead after after the thud. So that, no, that's he's why saying I'm, he's okay. saying let it rain thud. Then he's saying rain dance thud. Let it rain rain dance. It's a classic scene. Classic scene. Let it rain rain dance. Let it rain. Screaming, let it rain, rain dance. Yeah, I, I'm not gonna pull that one. Is this number five? Yeah, number five. So after this, I have three more. Uh, three more. Okay, yeah, I, I don't know this one. It's a long came Polly. Oh, I don't think I've seen that one. Is that is that um Philip Seymour Hoffman? That's Philip Seymour Hoffman shooting a basketball, and every time he says that, he it bricks. The noise is him bricking. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's not even close. Even on it's it's a funny scene. It's uh, Ben Stiller, Jennifer Aniston, and Philip Seymour Hoffman. R.I.P. is the best friend. Oh uh, yeah, uh, he's a, he he was a brilliant brilliant actor. Yeah, um, gone too soon, and you know suicide. You know so yeah. You, Speak you, out. You should watch Reach that out movie. for help or speak to someone. Yeah, yeah I will, sure. man. I, sure. I, 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 you know, I love to look too more often. I definitely brush up on his filmography, oh, yeah. kind of stuff, whatever he has on streaming. Yeah, he's the best. All right, uh, well, let's, do, let's do number six. I, I gotta get more. All right, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. I want to comb the desert. Do you hear me? Comb the desert. <laughs> comb, comb the desert. You hear me? Comb the desert. <laughs> The classic. Comb the desert. That sounds familiar too. Tell them to comb the desert. Do you hear me? Comb the desert. Do you hear me? Comb the desert. What is that movie? Desert. Hey, play it again. Tell them to comb the desert. Do you hear me? Comb the desert. It's a classic, bro. Classic. Even that line is classic. You know this. I don't think I do. You're gonna be so mad when I tell you. Um, not unless I haven't seen that. I think you've seen it. I think you've seen it. I think we probably watched it together. What is it? Spaceballs. I haven't seen Spaceballs. You've never seen Spaceballs? I thought you were a Star Wars fan. I am a Star Wars fan. And that's a spoof you Star Wars. need to watch it. It's, silly and... it's funny because they literally get giant combs and start combing the sand in the desert <laughs> looking for <laughs> <laughs> looking for Princess Leia. <laughs> <laughs> Comb the desert. <laughs> All right, so you got to see Along Came Polly and you got to see Spaceballs. Yeah. Right down. That's your homework. Homework. <laughs> you homework. <laughs> you got you to watch them and talk about them on your podcast. I will. Because Spaceballs is really like, it's, spot, it's, 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 it's like a spot on parody. You know what I mean? Like, it's pretty. If you love yeah. Star Wars, then you'll love slash hate and the, this movie. And the, and the love John Candy. Yeah. R.I.P. <laughs> yep, yep. All right, let's see. Uh, is this number seven now? Yep. I got to get one more right. Come on. I think you got it. You got it, bro. Show yourself! No. That was it? That's it. Show yourself! No. <laughs> Show yourself! 
Show yourself. Show yourself. No. <laughs> I couldn't put any more because it would have made it too obvious. Oh my goodness, that's terrible. Show yourself. Show yourself. Show yourself. No. Show yourself. <laughs> it's a comedy. It's a comedy. Mm-hmm. Is it, a, is it a martial arts film? No, it's not a martial arts movie. Show yourself. Yeah, this, this, this is I. Right, this is crazy. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> I told you I got some hard ones this week, bro. Um, show yourself. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> You ever seen uh, you ever seen a haunted house? The haunted house? A haunted house with uh Marlon Wayans. Oh making fun um, of paranormal activity. Oh, not all the way through. I've seen like I've seen parts. Oh, that's that's Avion Crockett. On, uh, Avion Crockett, yeah. yeah. He's okay. Like, Why are your furniture cast? Show you <laughs> That's so funny. Where your furniture at, cuz? Where are your fr- I don't give a fuck, Keisha. I don't give a fuck, Keisha. <laughs> oh, man. All right. You ready for number eight? I'm ready. Oh, shit. I almost dropped my soundboard. All right. I think you got this one. This is a. This one's. Huh. And you two motherfuckers need Jesus. Uh. That's Friday, right? No. You're in the right ballpark, but no. You motherfuckers need it's definitely, Friday? it's definitely a black movie. Mm. And you two motherfuckers need Jesus. I I have to know this. And you I I have and you two motherfuckers need Jesus. It's not Friday. Nope. I know what scene you're thinking about too. You're thinking about the the old ladies, the old ladies. He's like, y'all using Jesus to sell pussy. <laughs> mm. And you two motherfuckers need Jesus. <laughs> motherfuckers need Jesus. It's so funny, mother. Ah. <laughs> You two motherfuckers need Jesus. <laughs> it's a comedy. It's, it sounds like it has it's to be a, a comedy. It's an action comedy. Action comedy. Okay, so not Friday because Friday is like a comedy. Uh, and you two motherfuckers need Jesus. <laughs> action comedy. Black action comedy. Oh yeah, come on, that's easy. Black. Action comedy. Mm. And you two motherfuckers need Jesus. Think of two motherfuckers that might need Jesus. Who was doing action? What black comedian was doing action comedy? Oh my goodness. Come on. You know it, this. <laughs> it wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't Eddie Murphy. He mm-hmm. doesn't do action movies. Mm-hmm. Well, no, no, no. It's, he it's, did not a, it's not Eddie Murphy. It's not Eddie Murphy. It's not Dave Chappelle. Keep, only yeah, keep thinking. Keep thinking down the way you're thinking. You know this one. And you two motherfuckers need Jesus. You know what's funny? Um, growing up, like growing up and all, like only seeing him and do funny stuff, I thought Will Smith was a, was, was a comedian uh-huh. because I I only saw him do funny stuff. Okay. Like keep, Fresh Prince. Keep going. Keep going. Uh, You're uh, on like, the right track. Like Men in Black, Independence Day. You're on the right track, bro. Um, but then I, I then I realized he's not a comedian. But, <laughs> but he is very funny. He's very funny. Um, he's funny in his movie. You're, you're on the right track. He's funny in the movie. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, Black action comedy. Uh, Bad Boy. Bad yes, Boys? Bad Boys 2. You got it. Bad Boys 2. I wasn't letting you not get that one, bro. I was like, he said Will Smith. 
<laughs> and I was hoping you were going to go from Dave Chappelle. I thought you were going to say Blue Strength with Martin Lawrence. I hope you were going to. I was hoping you were going that way. With Martin you. Lawrence, yeah. It's, it's Bad Boys too. It's the scene where they're in the video shop and they're yeah. saying all that stuff, and they don't know they're being recorded. And everyone, yeah. Them. And she's walking out, and the lady's like, "You playing porno and all this gay boy stuff, and you two motherfuckers need Jesus." <laughs> <laughs> you got it, bro. Two for eight. Like, oh man, we're gonna have to have a redemption episode. Oh, is that it? That was it. Yeah. Dang, this is the worst I've ever done. Because 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 the first few times I I did really well. Man, that was good though, man. I, I'm I'm uh now I'm starting to get like. Cause, Cause, you and my boy be killing me so much. I'm like, all right, I gotta, I gotta make this hard. I gotta do movies that I like. Old yeah, movies exactly. that, that's why I pulled out the old movies like you know, Ninja Turtles and shit. Yeah, that's great. So <sighs> you gotta watch. What were the movies? You gotta watch Along Came uh, Polly Space- and Spaceballs. 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 I think you'll really uh, like Spaceballs, dude. I think you'll really like it. Watch. Uh, Watch the first, you know, watch the first couple Star Wars. Actually, I don't even think you need to watch the first one because it makes fun of that one. <clears throat> and then watch oh, Spaceballs right after. Backdoor, watch Spaceballs, and I guarantee you'll crack up. Every Star Wars movie is fresh in my mind. There you go. So yeah. watch, watch Spaceballs, okay. I guarantee you'll crack up. All right, brother. <laughs> Yes, sir. I, yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> All right, man. I'm gonna. Uh, I'm gonna. We're gonna have a redemption episode in a couple weeks. If you're down, I am down, man. I am down. <laughs> All right, brother. Stay safe, man. If you get a chance to All your right. fam, I said, "What's up?" Thanks, man. I'll talk to you later. All right, brother. Peace. Man, that was hard to watch, but that just means I picked some good movies. You know, uh, some people wouldn't even got two. So it shows that he's a true buff. And shout out to my boy E. He got five for eight. That was good, man. But like I said, it's only going to get harder from here. It's only going to get harder. But uh, if you if you're watching, thanks for watching. If you're listening, thanks for listening. Uh, this is another episode of Recognize Real, episode 50. And it's only going to go up from here. So have a good one. Stay safe.